Servidox is shipped in a cardboard box and within that cardboard box they're placed in a protective shell which keeps everything in place during shipping. In every Servidox package you find a landscape kit, a universal kit with two padded screws, a base cover with four screws, an NFC tag, two aluminum adapters with four cable tightening screws, two silicone adapters, two L wrenches, and the Savvy Dock itself. So these are the things that come with every single Savvy Dock package. When you take off the plastic case and remove the dock, you'll find the L wrenches taped behind the universal kit. You also find the pouch of screws at the bottom of the plastic casing. This is the Savvy Dock and these are some of the key parts. This is the non-slip pad that your device would rest on which stops it from having metal to metal contact. It also stops it from moving left or right when it is rested on it. These are the cable channels below. Four different sizes of cables. One, two, three, four and a wide center channel that allows you to use flat cables with it. These are the new improved nano pads for Savvy Dock. These work great on flat smooth surfaces like wood, tile, glass, granite, but they do not work with porous surfaces like silicon rubber, heavily textured or uneven surfaces. Over time they will get dirty and the best way to clean them is with a damp lint free cloth. Just wipe across the face and allow them to dry before you use. This is the universal kit that comes with every Savvy Dock. This is the cable envelope where the different adapters and cables will fit in. This allows you to use multiple cables whether they're factory or third party with the Savvy Dock. This is the padded screw that goes into these holes. There's two of them and you use them in different configurations to secure the cables. So let's start with a USB 3.0 cable. The 3.0 cable fits easily into the cable envelope, so you're not going to need any adapters for it. So we recommend you put the Samsung on the front side, which is the smooth side. We recommend that you have it just slightly above the top lip, just like that. Now to tighten the padded screws, an easy way is to put it over the tip of the small wrench and then just put it in. In this case, we're going to use the screw holes far left and far right. Now try not to tighten it too hard, you don't want to break the casing of your cable. Once you start to feel some resistance, that should be okay. You just need to be able to have the cable in place and not moving. Now we have installed the 3.0 cable in the adapter and we're ready to go. This is the 30 pin kit that comes with the Savvy Dock. On both sides you're going to find a hole. For these holes, you're going to use these cable tightening screws to secure the cable. I have already put one in each hole, one here and one here. This was designed to work with the smaller version of the Apple 30 pin cable, which is currently available in Apple stores. To install it, you make sure this front part with the logo is on the flat side. So take the adapter, run the cable through it just like that. And then forget this logo will be on the front and then slide it, push the head into place. Take the smaller of the L wrenches and secure the cable tightening screws in place. Now you don't want to screw them in too tight, you just want to have enough friction to where the cable head does not come up. Next you take the USB side of the cable and run it through the universal kit pull the cable through. Now you want to make sure that on the 30 pin kit the part where the slot lines up with the holes and push till it's flush. We're going to use the padded screws to hold them in place on both ends just like we did for the 3.0 cable. And once that's screwed into place Once that's screwed into place, this is ready to be used with the 30 pin cable. For the Apple factory 1 meter or 2 meter cables, you can use either the aluminum adapter or the silicon adapter. The difference is the aluminum adapter keeps your lightning cable at a fixed height. 
while the silicon one allows you to vary it up and down. The aluminum one will work for devices with no cases up to super protective cases like life proof and other box cases. The silicon one will work for devices with no cases but only up to light to medium thickness in cases. Now the aluminum one has two holes one on either side which you use the same cable tightening screws. So let's put one together. This is the Apple one meter cable. Simply thread it through then use the smaller of the L wrenches then line up the hole in the adapter with the screws and pass it through and when it's nice and flush then you screw it in and that's how you attach this lightning to that now for the other one with a silicon adapter it's a nice fit over the Apple factory cables, one meter or two meters. You can see that you can slide it up and down for varying adjustability for your case or no case situation. To install it, place it into the cable envelope. It's a nice tight fit there as well. Then thread your cable through the hole. When you get to the desired height, just slide silicon adapter down till it's nice and flush then take the smaller L wrench tool using the two center holes and the screws provided tighten it in place remember this is not the strength competition just enough to where it stays in place and that's how you use the silicon adapter for the lightning cable so you can use either the aluminum or the silicone for your factory Apple 1 meter or 2 meter cables. This is the U-shaped silicone adapter which works with most micro USB cables as well as MFI certified lightning cables. And the way it works is, for example, this is a Samsung 2.0 micro USB. It fits around it. And this is an MFI certified Apple lightning cable. Fits around that as well. To use this, simply place it into the cable envelope just like that and then thread your cable through to the desired height for example if you want it to be this much above grade then slide it down till it's nice and level once it's level use the two holes in the middle to secure the cable itself Remember, not too tight, you just want to make sure the cable does not move. So you end up with something just like this. Now there will be some cables that don't fit into any of the adapters that we have. Now for cables like that, you can just slide them into the cable envelope and use either of the holes or the screws to secure the cables in place at the height required. So for example, this cable slides into the cable envelope and I can use the two center holes to hold it in place at my desired height. So I end up with something like this. This is a cable which fits into the middle and I'm using the two screws in the middle to hold it in place. Now it's time to set up the dock itself. We have the lightning cable in the universal kit we're going to use. We have the iPhone 6. We have the large L tool, the base cover with the four screws, the landscape kit, and the savvy dock. So in a few short steps, we're gonna set up the dock for this iPhone 6. So first of all, you're gonna take a universal kit. The flat face faces forward, and the four screws face the back. And you're gonna pass that through the bottom of the savvy dock. Line up the four screws with the cable grooves and slide it in just like that. Then you're going to take the base cover, make sure the U-shape faces the cable grooves and place it in. Then you're going to take the larger of the L tools and you're going to secure the base cover with the screws. Now at this point we do not want to tighten it all the way to the end. We want to still make sure that you have some room to adjust your universal kit like so. Next, take the cable and pass it through the channel which fits it securely, just like that, and then place the dock down. Then take your device, dock it, 
and push the device and the universal kit backwards until the device lays flush against the non-slip pad. Now once it lays flush against the non-slip pad, that means this dock is locked into this device. Simply take the device off, go to the back of the dock, now you can lock in the screws. Now once the screws are locked in, that means that this particular dock is locked in for this iPhone 6. And now you can dock and undock and it stays in place. So now that your dock is all set up, the next thing you need to do is stick it onto the table. You take off the protective film on each pad, like so. And then you find a surface, a smooth surface like we talked about. Like this is a nice wooden surface. And you stick it right where you want it. And as you can see, it's not going to move. And now you can dock your phone and undock it with one hand. Just like that. And to undock it, just pull it off. All Savvy Docks come with a landscape kit. It's a one-piece aluminum design with a silicone topping that protects your device. Simply slide it over the universal kit. It will fit regardless of what cable is docked in. And you can use your device in landscape or portrait mode. Just like it. And you can still dock your device while the landscape kit is on it. Just like that. So get one-handed on docking. When you first of all start using your Savvy Dock, you can use two hands to dock it till you get used to using it coming from the side, just like that, and on dock. The more you use it, you'll be able to just get to one-handed docking just like that. If you find that the non-slip pads or the nano pads are not evenly applied, what you do is, for the non-slip pads, take your fingers and run it across, and that would smoothing it out. For the nano pads, leave the protective film over it and do the same thing, just smooth it out across like that. And this should help them get seated properly. The tolerances we use for Savvy Dock are very tight, so when you're putting your universal kit in, if it doesn't go in straight, just push it in all the way and it will go in. If you find that you're hooked on it just like that and it doesn't adjust for angle, simply make sure it's, it's put in properly and then you'll notice that you have your angle to work with, just like that. When you dock your device, if it's leaning a little bit to the left or to the right, that's okay, just straighten it up. As you can see, this is not going anywhere. The pin is very firmly held by the universal kit, so if it just so happens that you dock and it goes to the side, just straighten it up. To remove your Savvy Dock from the surface, simply twist to break the lock, and it comes off without leaving any residue. And to put it back, just and apply some pressure on it. Even though there are one, two, three, four channels which fit different size cables, because the universal kit and the adapter hold your cable in place, you could also use just a center channel. Now the center channel will hold it, your cable just like that. And also, the center channel can be used for flat cables.